We had a spirited discussion last night with Ralph Peters, the retired lieutenant colonel, who suggested that anyone who disagrees with him on Russia would probably be very much like a Hitler sympathizer. Here's how it went. Vladimir Putin hates us. He is malevolent. And you, he, he is as close to pure evil as I can find. He's also brilliant. And so I don't understand why any American would want an alliance with Russia. He's a killer. Hard to see why he's a threat to us. And I, how many wars can we fight at once? How many people can, can we be in an opposition to at once? Why not just accept that people who are bad people share our interests and side with them? You sound like Charles Lindbergh in 1938 saying, Hitler hasn't attacked us. I beg your pardon? Come slow down. Hey, slow down, Colonel. Oh. I'm not in my, any way. You cannot compare me to someone who would make apologies for Hitler. And I don't think Putin is well, comparable making, to Hitler. I think Putin is. Look, I think it's a Putin, grotesque overstatement. Putin, actually. he assassinates dissidents and journalists. He bombs women and children on purpose in Syria. He is as bad as Hitler. And yet you want us to align with the Russians, with Iran, with Assad. I want us to act in America's interest and stop making so shallow, I. sweeping moral claims about countries we don't fully understand and then hope everything will be fine in the end. If a country we don't like takes active steps to kill people who are a threat to us, I'm going to pause and applaud. Well, Peters is not alone in holding that view. You hear it all the time here in Washington. CNN analyst Robert Baer recently suggested anyone seeking collaboration with Russia on national security questions would have joined the Axis 75 years ago. Clearly, the country that attacked us in the 2016 elections, you can't go into business with them. It's, it is truly like, you know, working with the Japanese after Pearl Harbor to, you know, defend Hawaii, the air defense. It's just nutty. Max Boot is a senior fellow at the Council on Foreign Relations. He says he agrees with what Lieutenant Colonel Peters said last night, and he joins us tonight. Max, thanks a lot for coming on. Now, I, th I think it's you fair... Me, Tucker. I think it's fair to disagree about whether or not cooperating with Russia in the fight against ISIS is a good idea. But to dismiss anyone who doesn't share your view as a Nazi sympathizer seems cheap and a shortcut and not really befitting a self-described genius like yourself. Why, why would you say something like that? Well, rest assured, Tucker, I'm not actually saying that you're a Nazi sympathizer. And the one thing that I would disagree with Colonel Peters about is I don't think that Putin is comparable to Adolf Hitler because there was only one Hitler. But what I do believe is that Mitt Romney was right. I was a foreign policy advisor on the Mitt Romney campaign in 2012 when he said that Putin is the number one geopolitical threat that we face. I think that's true today. And I'm very disturbed, Tucker, when I see you at the top of the show, you and Mark Stein, yucking it up over the fact that Putin is interfering and meddling in our election process, undermining the sanctity of our elections to try to get Donald Trump elected, and that Donald Trump Jr., when he's told that Putin's government wants to support the Trump campaign, he doesn't pick up the phone to the FBI, he says, I love it. That, to me, is very disturbing, but, but, but what's even more disturbing to, 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 wait, is that you don't think it is disturbing. Point by point here, first of all, I'm sorry that laughter disturbs you, and you can debate whether or not this is not Donald funny, Trump, Trump, I'm sorry, this is Donald an assault Trump, in our democracy. Donald, I, I, I get your view uh, there, Max. You can debate whether or not what he did is a crime or falls under the Espionage Act or not, but to dismiss people who disagree with you as immoral, which is your habit, isn't a useful form of debate. It's a kind of moral preening, and it's a little odd coming from you, who really has been consistently wrong in the most flagrant and flamboyant way for over a decade. And so you have to sort of wonder, like, what, what have exactly? I been wrong about, Tucker? What have I well, been wrong I, about? Uh, having watched you carefully and known you for a long time, I recall vividly when you said that if we were to topple the governments of Afghanistan and Iraq, the region would be much safer, and the people who took their place would help us in the global okay. war on terror. Of course, please, it didn't happen. I was there when you said that. Now on me, Tucker. I'm not getting you holier than now. The I'm of Iraq. merely saying you supported the invasion that of Iraq you have too. been consistently wrong, and many people have been wrong. I've been wrong about a ton of things, but you, know, you try to learn your lesson. But when you get out there in the New York Times and say, we really should have done more to depose Gaddafi because, you know, Syria, Libya is going to be better when that happens. And then to hear you say we need to knock off the Assad regime and things will be better in Syria, you sort of wonder, like, well, maybe you should choose another profession, selling insurance, house painting, something you're good at. I guess that's kind of the point. Is there no sanction you know, Tucker, for being I as be, wrong as you I would have? be happy. 
I, I would be happy to hold up my record of foreign policy prognostication against yours. And by the way, to underline the fact, you, you supported the Iraq really? War, and then when it went bad, you opposed it, which uh, doesn't take any moral courage yeah. or perspicacity. Uh, no, I actually the issue I began here to oppose is not it my track record there, or yours. When it the began issue is and the fact that, that right working. now you are supporting Donald Trump, even, mm -hmm. and you're laughing about the fact that Russia is right. interfering in our right. election process. That, so you're to making me, is it. immoral. Okay, so let, let's have, it's immoral. Not just a disagreement, it's immoral. You're a moral authority, a religious figure now, actually, casting moral aspersions Tucker, on those who disagree. Save your sarcasm, okay? What no, you're it's doing heartfelt. Is, it's not sarcasm. Is, is I have, is, I have is a repudiation of all that the conservative movement in the Republican Party let, has let me stood ask for. You, when okay. I was growing up, Ronald Can Reagan you, warned about the evil empire. Okay. Right now, you're yucking it up at the evil it's empire a different, interfering it's a, in our it's election. A def, it's a different empire, uh, Max. And, and, and actually, we can debate to what extent they Vladimir Putin is a former KG. B man, and you're applauding can, what can he's I, doing. Since, since you have some sinecure at, at the Council on Foreign Relations, let me ask you policy questions, if I can, just for it's one second. It's not as lucrative as your sinecure at Fox right. News, Tucker. Uh -huh. Let me ask you a question. If we were to follow the course of action you're suggesting we follow, you're demanding we follow, on moral grounds, having, as I said... What, what course of action is that, Which Tucker? is to, de which is to get rid is of the Assad regime, because you fear his presence will empower Iran, which you see as a as a major problem in the world. What would happen then? Who would run that country? I asked Ralph Peters that question last night. He said, the Kurds. Do you think the Kurds would run Syria once we depose Bashar al-Assad? No, I don't. I think it'd be very difficult to do now in any case. I think it should have been done in 2011, 2012, oh. when you would have had a free Syrian Sorry, army, moderate Syrians advice, under the fore. What but, do you think we should what, do now? What's your, okay, what's your advice, Tucker? Should we collaborate with Russia in committing war crimes in Syria? Is that uh -huh. your advice in every, every, furthering every war Iranian hegemony crimes, over Sorry, Syria, a country that is dedicated to yeah. death to America? Is that your advice at the moment? Yeah. I, I think you're As not you know, choosing... I was very opposed to the Obama policy, and I'm opposed to the Trump policy, yeah. well, you but you seem to be a cheerleader for a lot. Since you're an expert and the on, to I'm, do I'm, a, they want I'm a cheerleader for Russia and Iran. This is exactly the style of debate that prevents people from taking you seriously. Am I wrong, because Tucker? Because rather than, Am I wrong? than I'm cheerleading for Iran and Russia, it's a grotesque thing to say. Of course, I'm not. I think, but I wouldn't live in either country. I you're disapprove not? of their policy. You don't policies. think that we should make common cause with with Russia in in Syria, that as you said different. repeatedly? Let me ask you're you this. You're that viewpoint. Let me, let me ask you this, since you're, I think, also a historian. The Congress of the United States in 1941 voted for Lend-Lease, which sent billions and billions of dollars to Joseph Stalin in armaments and food because the Congress of the United States believed Hitler was a greater threat than Stalin. Were they Stalinists when they did that? You know, Tucker, this is... This pure sophistry it's a simple, on your part. It's I not sophistry, the first it's a sincere I, question. Why don't you answer Will you let it? me finish? Will you let me answer your question, Tucker? I Please. will be the first to admit that sometimes you have to make common cause with oh. repugnant regimes, and that's what Franklin Delano Roosevelt did with Joseph Stalin when you that's have common the case goals. I'm making but we right do now. not share common goals with Russia. We do oh. not share common goals with Russia because Russia is trying to further the murderous Bashar Assad regime. They are trying to further Iranian hegemony in Syria. Oh. That is not our goal. Okay. Iran so, believes in okay. death to Israel. They believe in death to America. We okay. should not be cooperating with them. Well, we should Iran not believes become in complicit death to America. in so, Russian war crimes. Okay, let me just ask you factual questions. And, I'm and not Russia, sure you by can, the way, is also you undermining our electoral process, okay. which I, you I, don't I, seem look, to care about, Tucker. Okay, I'm, the moral preening and the generalizations are tiresome. Let me ask you a specific question. You say You know, Iran your lack of moral judgment is tiresome is a, to me. Right. Your lack I'm of moral judgment about what Russia is up to, I find to be offensive. This is why nobody takes you seriously, but I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself by answering this question. You say Tucker, Iran is, is a primary threat to us. You're the one not taken tell seriously. Me how many Americans, tell me how many Americans in the United States have been murdered by terrorists backed by Iran since 9-11. Oh, so you're taking the pro-Iranian line, essentially. Is that right? Well, that's pro what about the pro fact that hundreds of American troops... You're humiliating yourself, Max. Hundreds, Why don't you of, answer the question? hundreds of American troops... Hundreds of American troops have been murdered in Iraq by Iran and its proxies. I also hmm. recall that in... In the oh, 1980s, did, hundreds of so Americans Marine, of American oh, Marines were murdered in Beirut and by Iran. Do you not care about those deaths, Tucker? Hmm. Do I not care about those deaths? It's almost impossible to have a conversation yeah. with you because your responses are so childish. Of course I care about the deaths. I'm trying to get to the, to the right answer. Your responses, are ridiculous, I'm try, okay? I'm you're trying, trying to, to get to what the you're best trying thing to for the United States to do line, is. That we don't need to be worried about Iran. I'm, is that what you're I'm trying to say? Arguing, oh, slow down. I'm not arguing a pro-Iranian line. I'm not pro-Iran. I'm not pro-Russia. And I'm certainly not arguing that Iran is a good place or doesn't pose a threat to the United States. I'm merely saying... So what are in you a world, arguing, Tucker? Let me tell you. In a world full of threats, you create a hierarchy of them. You decide which is the worst, and then yeah. you go down the list. And my only question and to you is... Russia is right up there. Do you agree with that? Russia Do you agree that Russia is a threat to us? 
I think the idea that Russia States. is in the top five is absurd, and it makes me wonder about your judgment. But I'm giving you a chance to answer the question, which is... It's name absurd for you to say that Russia is not in the top five. They're the only country that can destroy us with a nuclear strike. Okay. I'm beginning to think that your judgment has been clouded by ideology. I don't fully understand where it's coming from, but I'll let our viewers decide. Doctor, I think your judgment has been clouded by ratings because you feel compelled by to be ratings? a spokesman for Donald Trump in order to win <laughs> ratings on the Fox News channel. That's pretty funny. I actually vehemently disagree the with our airstrikes. With our airstrikes in sad. Syria, I think you're and the president for called for them, and I'm against them. I'm actually arguing principle, but more than anything, I'm arguing for the right to ask you, honest questions without being denounced. Without being denounced as a quizzling. But you are incapable of giving a factual answer, and so instead you attack the character of the person who asked the question. And I think our viewers can see no, that, Tucker, and it's I beneath contempt. I did not. Max, I did not attack I gave your character. you a I chance, you were and you was did immoral. not turn in a, profe a in any sense, impressive performance. Thanks for joining us. Anyway, I thought it was interesting.